Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Queen's Wish. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. It's only three of us. Uh, that's because Elpeth died, and uh, she, she didn't fare very well. Last episode, we cleared out that house. Uh, that's, that was also a main mission, sort of. Uh, we're gonna need to come back down here, though, so that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Uh, because, of course... No, wait, we are not gonna need to come back down here. Four hours. Absolutely, I'll take it. Because, of course, fast travel. I mean, we are going to need to go there, but that's not the the problem. The problem is that I would need to do it manually, which I am not really feeling. Uh, it's not, not doing that. No, no. Uh, so, we leveled up, which is great. That was uh, an interesting... Let's see. So, there you go. An interesting um, uh, event that happened. Not event. little, you know, thing that we did. Uh, what do I have over here? Haven's Mercy increases healing by 10% and curing by 5. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Haven's Might hastes, hastes and blesses... Oh my god, that's super powerful. Hastes and blesses all allies within 6 spaces for 5 turns. That is super good. That also means that my main character should use daggers. Because of the extra speed. I think that's what it means. Uh, right? Because if I want to... Uh, if I want to... Do I have anything that gives me speed or anything? If I want to have an extra... Extra time to cast those blessings, which I do. I absolutely do. Then, uh, then I would want to... Rely on, on that. Right? Extra to hit chance, that's maximum energy. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's see what else we have. Uh, we have ourselves our Shield Shatter. And nothing else over here. Well, there are other things over there. There's also the Inspiring Cry. I don't know why I went with that. I mean, it's good to have at the front, I suppose. Uh, especially because, you know, the energy consumption is a consideration to be had. Uh, so we could go Whirlwind. We have the Knockback. Knocks the enemy and ensnares them, keeping it at a safe distance. That's actually really nice. Uh, there there are other problems with that, but that's pretty nice. Passive ability, always active for maximum health. It's pretty cool as well. Probably want to go with that, to be honest. Or th I mean, she dies a lot, so let's go with that. <laughs> uh, and again, she's uh, injured because of level ups. Then, let's see, over here we have our healer. Our healer is getting uh, disruption. That's for removing... Blessings. It's right there. I don't know why I didn't say it. Teleport is always a nice thing. And uh, we have the Majory. And Terror. It's a nice one. Eventually. I don't know how this, how I'm going to do my party eventually or anything. I don't know if characters are interchangeable. The The character system seems to be pretty interchangeable. So we, if we get people at level 5, we can just make a new one exactly like Terrence over here. So, uh, so yeah, it just seems like... That's That would be a, a normal thing to do. Uh, we have haste. That's a passive ability. I need that. I absolutely need that. Uh, and then over here we have magic, which means the poison rain might be the one coming up. We have time warp. Slows enemies in, this, in, a, in a circular area. I don't know if it's centered around the caster, though, so that's a little bit of a pain. Also, that probably means that I would need the majory there. Because that's for curses as well, and that would be a thing. And Poison Rain seems like more of a... It's, it seems more festive, doesn't it? It's the thing. It's, you know, it's green. It's It falls from the sky. What the thing... Oh, I wasted time. Uh, what things are green and fall from the sky that aren't amazing? I ask you. Oh, Stone... Oh, we do have a message. I was going to say Stone House doesn't have a message for us. Yes, he does. Put that over there. Thank you very much. And uh, let's go back downstairs. Stone House. Any messages? The portal has been humming alarmingly. This usually signifies that someone back at Shireen's palace wants to speak with you. That's all then. Thank you very much. It's mom again. It's always mom. What happened to sis? And and the brother, I suppose. Uh, when you approach the portal, you hear your mother in the middle of a of conversation. 
Ten more co tons of coal a year, guaranteed. Tell them that is our final offer. Now go, I must speak with Prince Jeff. A pause. So, Jeff, you met the Ariel. I remember when I first visited their lands. They offered me a flask of that enchanted uh, elixir they drink. Really? Oh, yes. Their ruling class, I swear by it, says it gives them visions. The wisdom to rule doesn't drive them mad at all. They swear it. Uh, what did you do? I took the flask. I thanked them profusely, and then I disposed of the stuff in private. Never fully trust your vassals, especially when drinking quicksilver has driven them half mad or all mad. Anyway, I do not envy you having to deal with the Ahria leaders. Why? I'm sorry, her, her uh, accent is inconsistent. I do my best. Anyway, she says... Those with the wealth to, wealth to afford elixir are the ones who rule their society. And then the elixir drives them mad. It makes dealing with them very unpredictable. Pity that the potions they make are so valuable to Haven. Why? Why? Why, why are they valuable if they are poisonous? How do they get the quicksilver? You must get the freedom to travel in their lands. Not impossible. Talk to their leaders. Keep an open mind. Look for the way in which their madness is swaying them and take advantage of it. You might... And then her voice cuts out. It happens sometimes. Portals can be unpredictable. Ah. Stonehouse, fix the telephony, please. <laughs> what do we have? Chief Miranda sits at her desk. Hey, Miranda, what's up? The Neil estate has been retaken. You tell Miranda the tale, and she smiles. The soldiers you sent arrived. I don't trust them, of course, but extra floggings will let them know that they are being watched. Also, floggings is apparently being... Um, that's interesting. I was going to say being spanked. While technically it is, it, 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 it does mean things that are very different. Uh, in modern English, I would say. Uh, I say being spanked because the word in Portuguese is that I'm trying to say is very close to spanked. It just doesn't mean the same thing as spanked. Um, yeah, flogged apparently just basically being beaten and just... just yeah. Um, yeah. That's, 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 where, that's the word. Miranda says, Brigand sightings are already down in that region, which is good. I hope you also found some valuables. I did. I did. Do you have any uh, more missions? I'm afraid not, Prince. There is not much to do, but nothing worthy... There is so much to do, but nothing worthy of your rank and power. If you explore the nations of Sacramentum and establish our forts, the commanders there are sure to have ways for you to increase Haven's power on Sacramentum. Sacramentum twice in the same sentence. Good. Good job. Good job. Absolutely. Off we go, then. Okay, so uh, that means that we're free to do our thing and don't have a place to go. I mean, I do have a place to go. We need to go to the Ahriel and also back down to where we were. Let's save. Uh, back down to where we were. Uh, let's uh, auto travel. Not fast auto travel. Wait. Right. I thought it was going to cost two stone to go there. So we're not making any... Ah. Yeah, we're not making any, any iron, as far as I can tell. Now we have one iron over there. That sucks. Anyway, full exploration of things begins now that I have my team back. And we have another one of these things. You find a survey marker. Haven soldiers leave these marks... Uh, leave these to mark viewpoints where much can be seen. You haven't been to this one yet, so you look around because you are on. Uh, you look around because you are on the shore. You can see much of Ahriel lands to the east. The it's interesting the way it's used. I'm not sure what Ahriel means. I don't know if it's an adjective or it's a noun. Because if it had uh, the word da before, then it would be an adjective or used as a, an adjective. I'm not sure the correct term for what it is but but because it's a noun then it would be much of Ariel to the east so i don't know anyway at least the ukatish there's the ukatish which is an adjective and then there's utkat which is the noun so i understand that one anyway the gigantic thicket can't hide everything you take notes do i 
I can't go there, so I suppose I do. Uh, off we go, then. The problem is there's also paths over here, so off we go this way, then. Many dens. Okay, not, not ideal. The ground starts to squish under your feet. Slime oozes out of the earth and sticks to your shoes. It's disgusting. The calamity is done, but some residual dark magic remains on this land, infesting it with goo. It is infesting it with goo. There's also people over there. I probably should save. And this is a place. Excuse me. I, I came here to murder. What? Are you... oh, those are just zombies. Zombies are fine. Um, okay, so I have uh, the tools that are required for the job here. I start off with ranged weapons, which is not great, but also it doesn't quite matter because I will cast the... What? Haste and blessings. That's the one I want. Look at that. That thing is powerful. <laughs> it is so powerful. I need to walk four to get there, so I'll attack you here. I actually don't know what blessing does. Uh, all of your abilities get a bonus to damage. That's really nice, actually. So I'll just attack you there and send our tank. Wow, that uses a lot of energy, though. So it kind of sucks. Bloop, bloop. Here they come. Okay. Um, so I suppose I can use the inspiring cry? I'm not really sure if I did the right thing here, but, well, I did. So attack you here so you don't bloop, bloop at me too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not any better. Let's get uh, poison rain. That probably isn't going to do. It's magical damage, so it, it also sets poison. Ooh, okay. Not ideal. Well, I'll live with it. Hopefully she doesn't get hit, although she might. Thank you for no evasions. A critical on the person I didn't need a critical, which is bad. Uh, I cannot do... Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, that sucks that I did that. Okay, so I can do some good things, but I want... I was going to do a whirlwind. Bloodletting! Haha! <laughs> Let's see. So you need to die. 20 damage! That is a lot. Oh, that's an evasion. And you go first, which is great. Uh, this will allow me to move up over here and then use this. Fantastic. Our speed is really, really powerful. They barely got a hit off. That is great. And of course, I should get a lot of that energy back. There is an old crumbling stone tower at the end of this valley. It is speckled with mud and slime. No humans have been up here for many a year. Let's explore the tower then. Inside the tower you find abandoned living quarters and a surprisingly intact alchemical workshop. Someone spent many years making potions out here. You can't tell when the alchemist left. It's been years at least. Whoever it was, they left fast. The shelves rotted, the jars fell to the floor and smashed, and the goo inside oozed into the ground. You find one thing of value, a potion flask, miraculously intact and still sealed. Uh, I'll take it. It is a properly enchanted potion flask. It seems like it will be very useful. You put it in your pack. Okay, and I can loot and burn down the tower, which sounds like it's not very productive, but I will do it. First, you help yourself to everything you can sell, and then you light a torch. The goo and slime is surprisingly flammable. Soon, the tower is ablaze. The vile stuff will no longer seep into the earth. Maybe in a few years, nature will reclaim this accursed valley. As you run out of the tower, you find an unpleasant surprise. The heat and vibrations have caused several towers to go of goo to rise out of the earth. But I have gained 30 gold, so uh, in your face, goo. In your face. This is interesting. It's one turn for movement. Those are big towers of goo, that's true. Okay, well, let's kill them. I didn't kill them very well, though. Uh... Okay, eh, it's just bad, bad things, not doing things properly. Oh, that is... Hi! Hi! I can stun you a little. There we go, stunned resisted though, so that sucks. Um...
I don't think I'm doing this right. So I don't need to move to attack. So might as well do that. Ah. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got I got a fix for you. I don't yeah, I don't, I don't need to worry. Uh, so I can move over here, and I can do this. Mm, not really. Um, then I can do that. I will heal after we're done. Let's move you over here. See what I can do. Oh, an evasion precisely on the person I needed. I needed it the most. Oh, that's another evasion. Okay. 3D rubbish. Oh, that sucks. That really does. Okay, okay, we got this. And uh, will you be able to attack there? Well, you will. No, you will. Nice hit. Um, and then we have, you need to change over here, that's a kill, It's another one over there, so I can move you right here, and then do another one of those, just going through my energy, oh, both of them, that's bad, um, I don't have stuns, I can move over here and do a, one of these, which is helpful, and I can move over here and do another one of these, Okay. Okay, we got this. I think. Oh no. What the heck was that? It sneezed on us. It sneezed at us, I mean. And it snared us, which basically means that we walk for four rather than for for that. Okay, uh this is dangerous. She's not dead yet. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, she's going to take a little bit of damage there. She's ensnared. No, no, that's not the one. Escape. Escape is the button. I was pressing right click. Uh, this is the one. Okay. And now we can end combat. Oh, there's another one. It's a good thing I did what I did. Yeah, you can you can stay there. I don't actually think you I don't think I gained experience from killing those guys. Oh, this is even harder. Wow. Oh, but I can attack for two. Hi. Yeah. I don't think I can experience. Okay. Just bad things. So I can't walk because I'm stuck. However, if I move over here, uh, that sucks a little bit. That sucks a lot, actually. Yeah, I don't think I can reach multiples of them. Let's just attack. Poison resisted, which is really nice. Uh, and of course, you're going to need some of this. Uh, and then you're going to need a kill over there. Very, very helpful. Okay, an inspiring cry is probably what I'm going to go with. Uh, right here. It hit everybody. Okay, that's, that's actually really good. Uh, then you are going to move up. Oh, this is not a bad place. It is not a bad place at all. Okay, and we're going to do that. For a lot of damage there. Uh, I'm going to move you up over here. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I ruined it. I just absolutely ruined it just then. 
got a healing wave out. Um, so you need to move in. Uh, and you don't have any more abilities. Uh, that sucks a lot. There's a lot of them. I can still I can still do the other attack, which is good, but this is it's very dangerous. These guys are gonna be a problem. Ooh, that's a critical. That was really nice. Okay. Um, so I can use that energy. Yeah, I can't do that one anymore. So I might as well. Uh, I might as well do an attack that hits everybody. Please kill them all. Ugh, that was good. Oh, they do that as well. <laughs> I'm screwed. Okay, at least you killed that one. Uh, whew. Okay. This one is, yeah, as I expected, considerably harder. Ooh, that was lucky. That's what that was. So she's gonna basically die. Except, of course, if I can heal her, which I might be able to. I can cure her. But I don't, I don't know that I can, actually. I don't know that that works quite like that. She just gets all the poison, basically. Uh, let's attack you here. With a critical, which is very nice. And you're also... Poisoned. Yeah, they're just going for the mage. This is ridiculous. Mage is gonna die. I mean, that's the advantage of poison, isn't it? Is that if they focus on one, that it's basically doomed. Uh, that's not too bad. Ooh, that evasion. Okay. And then you die. Yeah, if they focus on one that's basically doomed, then they can't do really that much damage, can they? Although they are dooming us quite thoroughly at the moment. Oh, I should have... Does that matter? I could have saved that. I don't think that matters. It doesn't! I can't believe it doesn't, but it doesn't. Uh, so I can die. And be taken back to the fort. And Haven report! Look at that. Get all the things. And then lose all the things. How much money do I need to... It's, I need to pay money. Okay. Yeah, it's 30 for, for the... For the... Um, I think it's 30. Ooh, that's what we got. Yeah, I think it's 30 for... Um, what's the name of it? For the iron. Yeah. So, you go over there. And that's good news. You... Well, technically, I should actually have you have this. And then you have that. And if you use that only in the direst of, of situations. Uh, let's just check very quickly that we don't have any new messages, which we shouldn't have. We do! This is weird. Uh, missions? I'm afraid not. That's, that's weird. Huh. When you approach the portal, you hear your brother's voice. Ah, my brother. My peaceful, gentle brother. I think I need to speak with you. Peaceful, gentle. That is the reputation you have earned. I have been killing a lot of people, sir. Ma'am? I, oof, you don't even. I definitely am not peaceful. You seem to have a great reluctance to punish wrongdoers. No, I kill them a lot. Uh, in the face. No matter how much they deserve it. Nah, you've been hearing from the people that I've saved. That's kind of an interesting thing. Imagine you kill a thousand people. And then one people, you let go. And you're just like, ah, you know what? I'm your pal. I'm going to let you go. And that's the only person who's going to say things about you. So 100% of the people who talk about you will say that you are nice to them. Even though you killed a thousand people. That's not what's happening here, though. The game is uh, uh, giving too much value to some of the options that we make. Well, technically, we only have so many options, and that's the reason why it's giving it so much value to some of the options, which is basically whether to, or not to spare the end bosses of each dungeon. Because we just go around killing all everybody else. Um, specifically, the last dungeon we went to. Uh, well, not dungeon, a, man a mansion. Uh, but still, yeah, anyway. You sent me here to choose a path. I have chosen it. Yeah, let's go with that. I see. Well, if wrongdoers feel encouraged, the result tends to be more wrongdoers. If you need to learn that lesson yourself, go ahead. The portal is silent. That 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 equation there can be can be deconstructed into a different thing. Can can it not? If wrongdoers 
feel encouraged, then the result is more wrongdoers. Well, the wrongdoers are synonymous to wrong. So if wrong feels encouraged, then more wrong can be expected. Which is reasonable. It's a reasonable thing to say. But it does somehow... Not necessarily, sh but but somehow shift the conversation um, from the people who do the wrong towards their wrong. Which is a different conversation altogether, isn't it? And then we can talk about whether they were doing wrong things or not. Which he's evidently trying to avoid, because he doesn't want to discuss with me the details of what constitutes rebellion and... Uh, What's the other one? Desertion. That's the one. There's a band of poor refugees, at the end, as opposed to rich refugees, at the end of this path. Well, those actually can exist, rich refugees, but still. Anyway, at the end of this path, when you get close, they draw their wep- Sorry, their pathetic weapons. Then they realize that you're from Haven. They look like they're from the Vol to the south. They approach to try to talk to you. I wonder how their weapons are pathetic. Maybe they're made out of gummy bears. Or they have the shape of penises. That, that would, and I guess that would be hilarious rather than pathetic. Still pathetic, but that would make them pathetic rather than the weapons. Gummy bear weapons. I, 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 could, I could eat a gummy bear sword. Sure. Uh, let's talk to them. They pick someone to meet with you. She walks forward. You note she has a single vertical line tattooed on her cheek. You're from Haven, yes? Yes. That is a relief. We are Owen, fled from the Vol. We are moving through your lands. We ask you to please let us pass. Uh, I think I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask, what drove you to flee? The rebellion. The war. Owen rebel against Masha. Masha get revenge on Owen, even innocent Owen. We flee to live. We look for free land to live on. Uh, Owen? She touches the line on her cheek. All of the others have matching lines. Some have two. We were, she says, we were servants for life to the Masha. Those who held our debts, we fled rather than die in their service. And uh, what do you want from me? She lets, uh, she says, just let us go, warrior. We go in peace. We won't steal. Don't tell Vol Hunters where we were. Um, yep, your secret is safe. You depart. Later, you look back. The refugees are desperately fleeing in a different direction. Soon, they are out of sight. Which, what do you mean, different direction? Are they... Th there's only one direction. I'm not sure I understand what, where they went. Maybe that's the point, so that we don't know where they went. Eh, whatever. Um, and that's probably the sort of people uh, whom we're helping that would let our brother, who is terrible, um, I, um, at least I assume he's terrible, uh, that would make our brother say things like, Wrongdoers do the wrong, don't they? Uh, uh, more wrongdoers wrong. Anyway, that's gonna be that. We're gonna fight these crabs. Hiccups, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm fighting the hiccups. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna fight those crabs in the next episode. I don't know what they are, but they look like crabs. And, uh, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Queen's Wish. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.